Hi there, it's Chris Murray from childcare-marketing.com with another weekly video tip. This week, I want to talk about something a little bit um, serious and heartfelt. And uh, before I get into the video tip, I want to just send some condolences out to the folks in Oklahoma who have been really battered by tornadoes and storms. And um, it's been tough in that part of the country. So I wanted to first uh, just send some prayers your way. Uh, and hopefully the storm pattern will, will, will shift for you. Um, but it brings to mind thinking about what's going on um, with, with that and with the weather patterns. Uh, and also, you know, folks last year in New Jersey being hit by Hurricane Sandy. Um, and I have some clients that were devastated by that. Um, that disaster. And, and so, you know, and even back to Katrina, you know, see, so there's no part of the country that's really 100% um, insulated from these types of things happening. And so what I wanted to talk about this week was uh, your disaster plan and emergency preparedness. And so whether it's a, a weather-related issue or, uh, God forbid, a safety and security um, breach, of some type, um, it's important for you and it's important for your, your families and children, obviously, uh, to have a plan and to revisit it often and make sure that you're training your staff consistently and often with um, what should be happening in your program should disaster strike. And, and so there's a few components to that and I just wanted to uh, review this topic with you. It might be something that you um, haven't thought about lately or you haven't dug into what is your emergency planning and your procedures and your processes and training your teachers and making sure that um, in the event of a fire, uh, you know, what are your what are your steps to action and what are you going to do to make sure 100% that you are um, going to get those children out and, and that everybody will be safe. And so uh, th this is also an important thing for your marketing in terms of communicating to parents. And uh, so, you know, the first step would obviously be to think about all the different um, emergency situations or disasters that could potentially happen, uh, both with, you know, the, the children and the people side, but also with the facility and with your data. Uh, there, you need to have a data backup plan in place. And, um, and so, you know, just kind of doing an assessment. And so that your action, your homework out of this, this video is to, to uh, do an assessment of where you're at with all the different types of uh, emergencies or disasters that could take place and um, where do you have gaps in your plan. And maybe you don't even have a plan. Okay, so one thing uh, that you should, after you do your assessment and you work with, with staff, and you could put one or two teachers, uh, task them with this. Um, Teachers love to get extra uh, leadership roles, many do, and give them something to do You know, during that time when children are napping. Uh, they could easily come out for 45 minutes and work on this, and you could give them a little extra incentive um, or, or, or motivation, either monetarily or with some kind of a team building um, uh, treat, okay, to, to get this done. But, um, so, so that is something that your team needs to embrace and that you need to assess where you have the gaps in your plan um, and, uh, and fix them as soon as you can, okay? Um, and then once you have that in place, the kind of the second step is to make sure that you're communicating it to parents because most parents don't know what to ask. They don't know what to look for in childcare when they're looking. And so bringing up the fact that not only do you have a state-of-the-art secure facility with um, you know, an entrance with everybody having a unique code or a fingerprint system or whatever you have, uh, and then also letting them know that you have a great um, disaster uh, slash emergency preparedness team and plan in place. And you could even pull out your policy or your plan and show them. And that's something that when I'm speaking with parents, and moms, I, I tell them that they should be asking for that because um, there's been a lot of publicity lately um, uh, with articles that have been written about disasters 
uh, fires or kids being left in vans um, and, and dying in, in U.S. daycares and child care centers. And that's something that we need to fix as a community, okay? And so, um, you know, what, what I'm asking you to do is to take that step and make sure that you have the plan in place and that you communicate it to parents once you do. Because most of you, most of us are, maybe you have the plan, but you're, you know, you, you might not think it's important to parents. You might not think it's something you should bring up on the tour, but you absolutely should. Uh, I think it's something that parents will really uh, respond to. They'll be respectful and impressed with the fact that you've taken the time uh, to communicate to them, and they'll just feel that extra sense of ease and peace, peace of mind, okay? And that's what, really what they're all at. They're just really looking for someone that they can trust. And so who better to trust when making the child care decision than the person um, that explains how that you're going to deal with emergencies? So to do that. So that's your homework for the week is to take that action, and then you can use it as a marketing point, okay? So... Um, uh, I hope you've got value in that, and uh, I will also sleep easier at night knowing that you, my listeners, and my followers, and my clients are, are taking that action step. So um, this has been Chris Murray with Child Care Marketing Solutions, and, uh, and take care, and we'll talk to you next time.